Principal Component Analysis PCA is a statistical procedure that uses an orthogonal transformation to convert a set of observations of possibly correlated variables entities each of which takes on various numerical values into a set of values of linearly uncorrelated variables called principal components. If there are n observations with p variables then the number of distinct principal components is min n minus 1 p display style min n1 p this transformation is defined in such a way that the first principal component has the largest possible variance that is accounts for as much of the variability in the data as possible and each succeeding component in turn has the highest variance possible under the constraint that it is orthogonal to the preceding components. The resulting vectors each being a linear combination of the variables and containing n observations are an uncorrelated orthogonal basis set. PCA is sensitive to the relative scaling of the original variables. PCA was invented in 1901 by Carl Pearson, as an analogue of the principal axis theorem in mechanics, it was later independently developed and named by Harold Hotelling in the 1930s. Depending on the field of application, it is also named the discrete Karun and Lowe transform (KLT) in signal processing, the Hotelling transform in multivariate quality control, proper orthogonal decomposition (POD) in mechanical engineering, singular value decomposition (SVD) of X Golub and Van Loan, 1983, eigenvalue decomposition (EVD) of XTX in linear algebra, factor analysis for a discussion of the differences between PCA and factor analysis. CCH seven of Jolliffe's Principal component analysis, Eckert Young theorem, Harman, 1960, or empirical orthogonal functions EOF in meteorological science, empirical eigenfunction decomposition, Sirovich, 1987, empirical component analysis, Lorenz, 1956, quasi-harmonic modes, Brooks et al., 1988, spectral decomposition in noise and vibration, and empirical modal analysis in structural dynamics. PCA is mostly used as a tool in exploratory data analysis and for making predictive models. It is often used to visualize genetic distance and relatedness between populations. PCA can be done by eigenvalue decomposition of a data covariance or correlation matrix or singular value decomposition of a data matrix, usually after a normalization step of the initial data. The normalization of each attribute consists of mean centering, subtracting each data value from its variables measured mean so that its empirical mean average is zero, and, possibly, normalizing each variable's variance to make it equal to one, CZ scores. The results of a PCA are usually discussed in terms of component scores, sometimes called factor scores the transformed variable values corresponding to a particular data point, and loadings the weight by which each standardized original variable should be multiplied to get the component score. If component scores are standardized to unit variance loadings must contain the data variance in them and that is the magnitude of eigenvalues. If component scores are not standardized therefore they contain the data variance then loadings must be unit scaled normalized and these weights are called eigenvectors they are the cosines of orthogonal rotation of variables into principal components or back PCA is the simplest of the true eigenvector based multivariate analyses often its operation can be thought of as revealing the internal structure of the data in a way that best explains the variance in the data if a multivariate dataset is visualized as a set of coordinates in a high-dimensional data space one axis per variable, PCA can supply the user with a lower-dimensional picture, a projection of this object when viewed from its most informative viewpoint. This is done by using only the first few principal components so that the dimensionality of the transformed data is reduced. PCA is closely related to factor analysis. Factor analysis typically incorporates more domain-specific assumptions about the underlying structure and solves eigenvectors of a slightly different matrix. PCA is also related to canonical correlation analysis CCA. CCA defines coordinate systems that optimally describe the cross-covariance between two datasets while PCA defines a new orthogonal coordinate system that optimally describes variance in a single dataset. Topic. Intuition 
PCA can be thought of as fitting an n-dimensional ellipsoid to the data, where each axis of the ellipsoid represents a principal component. If some axis of the ellipsoid is small, then the variance along that axis is also small, and by omitting that axis and its corresponding principal component from our representation of the dataset, we lose only a commensurately small amount of information. To find the axes of the ellipsoid, we must first subtract the mean of each variable from the dataset to center the data around the origin. Then, we compute the covariance matrix of the data, and calculate the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of this covariance matrix. Then we must normalize each of the orthogonal eigenvectors to become unit vectors. Once this is done, each of the mutually orthogonal, unit eigenvectors can be interpreted as an axis of the ellipsoid fitted to the data. This choice of basis will transform our covariance matrix into a diagonalized form with the diagonal elements representing the variance of each axis. The proportion of the variance that each eigenvector represents can be calculated by dividing the eigenvalue corresponding to that eigenvector by the sum of all eigenvalues. This procedure is sensitive to the scaling of the data, and there is no consensus as to how to best scale the data to obtain optimal results. Topic. Details PCA is mathematically defined as an orthogonal linear transformation that transforms the data to a new coordinate system such that the greatest variance by some projection of the data comes to lie on the first coordinate called the first principal component, the second greatest variance on the second coordinate, and so on. Consider a data matrix, X, with column Y zero empirical mean the sample mean of each column has been shifted to zero, where each of the N rows represents a different repetition of the experiment, and each of the P columns gives a particular kind of feature say, the results from a particular sensor. Mathematically, the transformation is defined by a set of p-dimensional vectors of weights or coefficients w k equals w 1 w p k Display style math bf w underscore k equals w underscore one dots w underscore p underscore k. That map each row vector x i display style math bf x underscore i of x to a new vector of principal component scores t i equals t one t l I display style math bf t underscore i equals t underscore one dots t underscore l underscore i given by t k i equals x i w k f o r i equals one n K equals one L display style T underscore K underscore I equals Math BF X underscore I C D O T Math BF W underscore K Q quad mathrum for Q quad I equals one dots and Q quad K equals one dots L in such a way that the individual variables T one T L Display style t underscore one dots t underscore l of t considered over the data set successively inherit the maximum possible variance from x with each coefficient vector w constrained to be a unit vector. Topic: First component. In order to maximize variance, the first weight vector w one thus has to satisfy w. One equals A R G M A X W equals one I T one I two equals A R G M A X W equals one I X I W two 
Display style Math BF W underscore one equals underset vert Math BF W vert equals one operator name ARG Max left sum underscore I left T underscore one right underscore I carrot two right equals underset vert Math BF W vert equals one operator name ARG Max left sum underscore I left Math BF X underscore I C D O T Math BF W right carrot two right Equivalently, writing this in matrix form gives W one equals ARG M A X W equals one X W two equals ARG M A X W equals one W T X T X W Display style Math BF W underscore one equals underset vert Math BF W vert equals one operator M A R G Max Vert Math BF X W Vert carrot two equals underset Vert Math BF W Vert equals one operator name A R G Max left Math BF W carrot T Math BF X carrot T Math BF X W right Since W one has been defined to be a unit vector, it equivalently also satisfies W one equals A R G M A X W T X T X W W T W Display style Math BF W underscore one equals operator name ARG Max left frac Math BF W carrot T Math BF X carrot T Math BF X W Math BF W carrot T Math BF W right The quantity to be maximized can be recognized as a Rayleigh quotient. A standard result for a positive semidefinite matrix such as XTX is that the quotient's maximum possible value is the largest eigenvalue of the matrix, which occurs when W is the corresponding eigenvector. With W found, the first principal component of a data vector X can then be given as a score T1 I equals X I w 1 in the transformed coordinates, or as the corresponding vector in the original variables, X I w 1 W1 w 1 equals topic further components equals the kth component can be found by subtracting the first k minus 1 principal components from x x caret k equals x minus s equals 1 K minus one X W S W S T Display style Math BF hat x underscore K equals Math BF x sum underscore S equals one carrot K one Math BF x Math BF W underscore S Math BF W underscore S carrot room T and then finding the weight vector which extracts the maximum variance from this new data matrix w k equals a r g m a x w equals 1 x caret k w 2 equals a R G M A X W T X carrot K T X carrot K W W T W 
Display style Math BF W underscore K equals underset vert Math BF W vert equals one operator name ARG Max left vert Math BF hat X underscore K Math BF W vert carrot two right equals operator name ARG Max left TFRAC Math BF W carrot T Math BF hat X underscore K carrot T mat HBF hat x underscore k math bf w math bf w carrot t math bf w right. It turns out that this gives the remaining eigenvectors of x t x with the maximum values for the quantity in brackets given by their corresponding eigenvalues. Thus, the weight vectors are eigenvectors of x t x. The kth principal component of a data vector x i can therefore be given as a score t k i equals x i w k in the transformed coordinates, or as the corresponding vector in the space of the original variables x i w k w k, where w k is the kth eigenvector of x t x. The full principal component's decomposition of x can therefore be given as t equals x w Display style math bf t equals math bf x math bf w, where w is a p by p matrix of weights whose columns are the eigenvectors of x t x. The transpose of w is sometimes called the whitening or sphering transformation. Columns of w multiplied by the square root of corresponding eigenvalues, i.e. eigenvectors scaled up by the variances, are called loadings in PCA or in factor analysis. Topic: Covariances. X T X itself can be recognized as proportional to the empirical sample covariance matrix of the dataset X. The sample covariance Q between two of the different principal components over the dataset is given by Q P C J P C K X W J T X W K equals W J T X T X W K equals W J T lambda K W K equals lambda K W J T W K display style begin aligned Q mathrm P C underscore J mathrm P C underscore K and propto math B F X math B F W underscore J carrot T math B F X math B F W underscore K and equals math B F W underscore J carrot T math B F X carrot T math B F X math Math BF W underscore K and equals Math BF W underscore J carrot T Lambda underscore K Math BF W underscore K and equals Lambda underscore K Math BF W underscore J carrot T Math BF W underscore K end aligned where the eigenvalue property of W K has been used to move from line two to line three. However, eigenvectors W J and W K corresponding to eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are orthogonal if the eigenvalues are different, or can be orthogonalized if the vectors happen to share an equal repeated value. The product in the final line is therefore zero. There is no sample covariance between different principal components over the dataset. Another way to characterize the principal components transformation is therefore as the transformation to coordinates which diagonalize the empirical sample covariance matrix. In matrix form, the empirical covariance matrix for the original variables can be written Q X T X equals W lambda W T Display style Math BF Q Propto Math BF X carrot T Math BF X equals Math BF W Math BF Lambda Math BF W carrot T The empirical covariance matrix between the principal components becomes W T Q W W T W Lambda W T W equals lambda 
Display style Math BF W carrot T Math BF Q Math BF W Propto Math BF W carrot T Math BF W Math BF Lambda Math BF W carrot T Math BF W equals Math BF Lambda where lambda is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues lambda k of x t x lambda k being equal to the sum of the squares over the data set associated with each component k lambda k topic sigma i2 tarkas i sigma i x i w k 2 Topic: Dimensionality reduction. The transformation T equals x W maps a data vector x i from an original space of p variables to a new space of p variables which are uncorrelated over the dataset. However, not all the principal components need to be kept. Keeping only the first L principal components, produced by using only the first L eigenvectors, gives the truncated transformation T. L equals x w L display style math bf t underscore L equals math bf x math bf w underscore L, where the matrix T L now has n rows but only L columns. In other words, PCA learns a linear transformation T equals w T x X element of R P T element of R L display style T equals W carrot T X X in R carrot P T in R carrot L, where the columns of P times L matrix W form an orthogonal basis for the L features, the components of representation T that are decorrelated. By construction, of all the transformed data matrices with only L columns, this score matrix maximizes the variance in the original data that has been preserved, while minimizing the total squared reconstruction error T W T minus T L W L T 2 2 Display style Math BF T Math BF W carrot T Math BF T underscore L Math BF W underscore L carrot T underscore two carrot two or X minus X L two two Display style Math BF X Math BF X underscore L underscore two carrot two such dimensionality reduction can be a very useful step for visualizing and processing high-dimensional datasets, while still retaining as much of the variance in the dataset as possible. For example, selecting L equals 2 and keeping only the first two principal components finds the two-dimensional plane through the high-dimensional dataset in which the data is most spread out, so if the data contains clusters these two may be most spread out, and therefore most visible to be plotted out in a two-dimensional diagram, whereas if two directions through the data or two of the original variables are chosen at random, the clusters may be much less spread apart from each other, and may in fact be much more likely to substantially overlay each other, making them indistinguishable distinguishable. Similarly, in regression analysis, the larger the number of explanatory variables allowed, the greater is the chance of overfitting the model, producing conclusions that fail to generalize to other datasets. One approach, especially when there are strong correlations between different possible explanatory variables, is to reduce them to a few principal components and then run the regression against them, a method called principal component regression. Dimensionality reduction may also be appropriate when the variables in a dataset are noisy. If each column of the dataset contains independent identically distributed Gaussian noise, then the columns of T will also contain similarly identically distributed Gaussian noise such a distribution is invariant under the effects of the matrix W, which can be thought of as a high-dimensional rotation of the coordinate axes. However, with more of the total variance concentrated in the first few principal components compared to the same noise variance, the proportionate effect of the noise is less—the first few components achieve a higher signal-to-noise ratio. 
PCA thus can have the effect of concentrating much of the signal into the first few principal components, which can usefully be captured by dimensionality reduction, while the later principal components may be dominated by noise, and so disposed of without great loss. Topic. Singular value decomposition The principal components transformation can also be associated with another matrix factorization, the singular value decomposition SVD of x x equals u sigma w t Display style math bf x equals math bf u math bf sigma math bf w caret t. Here sigma is an n by p rectangular diagonal matrix of positive numbers sigma k called the singular values of x. U is an n by n matrix, the columns of which are orthogonal unit vectors of length n called the left singular vectors of x, and W is a p by p whose columns are orthogonal unit vectors of length p and called the right singular vectors of x. In terms of this factorization, the matrix X T X can be written X T X equals W Sigma T U T U Sigma W T equals W Sigma T Sigma W T equals W sigma carrot two W T Display style begin aligned Math BF x carrot T Math BF x and equals Math BF W Math BF sigma carrot T Math BF U carrot T Math BF U Math BF sigma Math BF W carrot T and equals Math BF W Math BF sigma carrot T Math BF sigma Math BF W carrot T and equals Math BF W Math BF hat sigma carrot two Math BF W Carrot T N aligned where sigma carrot display style math BF hat sigma is the square diagonal matrix with the singular values of x and the excess zeros chopped off that satisfies sigma carrot two equals sigma T sigma display style math BF hat sigma carrot two equals math BF sigma carrot T math BF sigma Comparison with the eigenvector factorization of x t x establishes that the right singular vectors w of x are equivalent to the eigenvectors of x t x, while the singular values sigma k of x display style math bf x are equal to the square root of the eigenvalues lambda k of x t x. Using the singular value decomposition, the score matrix T can be written T equals x W equals U sigma W T W equals U sigma display style begin aligned Math BF T and equals Math BF X Math BF W and equals Math BF U Math BF sigma Math BF W carrot T Math BF W and equals Math BF U Math BF sigma end aligned so each column of T is given by one of the left singular vectors of X multiplied by the corresponding singular value. This form is also the polar decomposition of T-efficient algorithms exist to calculate the SVD of X without having to form the matrix XTX, so computing the SVD is now the standard way to calculate a principal components analysis from a data matrix, unless only a handful of components are required. As with the eigen decomposition, a truncated n times l score matrix T l can be obtained by considering only the first l largest singular values and their singular vectors. T l equals u l sigma l equals x w l. Display style Math BF T underscore L equals Math BF U underscore L Math BF Sigma underscore L equals Math BF X Math BF W underscore L the truncation of a matrix M or T using a truncated singular value decomposition in this way produces a truncated matrix that is the nearest possible matrix of rank L to the original matrix, in the sense of the difference between the two having the smallest possible Frobenius norm, a result known as the Eckert–Young theorem 1936.
Topic: Further considerations. Given a set of points in Euclidean space, the first principal component corresponds to a line that passes through the multidimensional mean and minimizes the sum of squares of the distances of the points from the line. The second principal component corresponds to the same concept after all correlation with the first principal component has been subtracted from the points. The singular values in sigma are the square roots of the eigenvalues of the matrix XTX. Each eigenvalue is proportional to the portion of the variance, more correctly of the sum of the squared distances of the points from their multidimensional mean that is associated with each eigenvector. The sum of all the eigenvalues is equal to the sum of the squared distances of the points from their multidimensional mean. PCA essentially rotates the set of points around their mean in order to align with the principal components. This moves as much of the variance as possible using an orthogonal transformation into the first few dimensions. The values in the remaining dimensions, therefore, tend to be small and may be dropped with minimal loss of information see below. PCA is often used in this manner for dimensionality reduction. PCA has the distinction of being the optimal orthogonal transformation for keeping the subspace that has largest variance, as defined above. This advantage, however, comes at the price of greater computational requirements if compared, for example, and when applicable, to the discrete cosine transform, and in particular to the DCT2 which is simply known as the DCT. Nonlinear dimensionality reduction techniques tend to be more computationally demanding than PCA. PCA is sensitive to the scaling of the variables. If we have just two variables and they have the same sample variance and are positively correlated, then the PCA will entail a rotation by 45 degrees and the weights. They are the cosines of rotation for the two variables with respect to the principal component will be equal. But if we multiply all values of the first variable by 100, then the first principal component will be almost the same as that variable, with a small contribution from the other variable, whereas the second component will be almost aligned with the second original variable. This means that whenever the different variables have different units like temperature and mass, PCA is a somewhat arbitrary method of analysis. Different results would be obtained if one used Fahrenheit rather than Celsius, for example. Note that Pearson's original paper was entitled On Lines and Planes of Closest Fit to Systems of Points in Space. In space implies physical Euclidean space where such concerns do not arise. One way of making the PCA less arbitrary is to use variables scaled so as to have unit variance, by standardizing the data and hence use the autocorrelation matrix instead of the autocovariance matrix as a basis for PCA. However, this compresses or expands the fluctuations in all dimensions of the signal space to unit variance. Mean subtraction aka mean centering is necessary for performing classical PCA to ensure that the first principal component describes the direction of maximum variance. If mean subtraction is not performed, the first principal component might instead correspond more or less to the mean of the data. A mean of zero is needed for finding a basis that minimizes the mean square error of the approximation of the data. Mean centering is unnecessary if performing a principal components analysis on a correlation matrix, as the data are already centered after calculating correlations. Correlations are derived from the cross product of two standard scores, Z scores or statistical moments, hence the name, Pearson product moment correlation. Also see the article by Cromrie and Foster Johnson 1998 on mean centering in moderated regression, much ado about nothing. An autoencoder neural network with a linear hidden layer is similar to PCA. Upon convergence, the weight vectors of the K neurons in the hidden layer will form a basis for the space spanned by the first K principal components. Unlike PCA, this technique will not necessarily produce orthogonal vectors, yet the principal components can easily be recovered from them using singular value decomposition. PCA is a popular primary technique in pattern recognition. It is not, however, optimized for class separability. However, it has been used to quantify the distance between two or more classes by calculating center of mass for each class in principal component space and reporting Euclidean distance between center of mass of two or more classes. The linear discriminant analysis is an alternative which is optimized for class separability. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Table of symbols and abbreviations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Properties and limitations of PCA. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Properties. Some properties of PCA include Property 1 – For any integer q, 1 qp, consider the orthogonal linear transformation y equals b x display style y equals math bf b x where y display style y is a q element vector and b display style math bf b is a q times p matrix and let sigma y equals b sigma b display style math bf sigma underscore y equals math bf b math bf sigma math bf b be the variance covariance matrix for y display style y then the trace of sigma y Display style math bf sigma underscore y denoted tr sigma y display style text tr math bf sigma underscore y is maximized by taking b equals a q display style math bf b equals math bf a underscore q where a Q display style math bf a underscore q consists of the first q columns of a display style math bf a b display style math bf b is the transposition of b display style math bf b property two consider again the orthonormal transformation y equals b X display style y equals math bf b x with x b a display style x math bf b math bf a and sigma y display style math bf sigma underscore y defined as before. Then tr sigma y Display style text tr math bf sigma underscore y is minimized by taking b equals a q display style math bf b equals math bf a underscore q caret asterisk where a q display style math bf a underscore q caret asterisk consists of the last q columns of Display style math bf a. The statistical implication of this property is that the last few PCs are not simply unstructured leftovers after removing the important PCs. Because these last PCs have variances as small as possible, they are useful in their own right. They can help to detect unsuspected near constant linear relationships between the elements of X, and they may also be useful in regression, in selecting a subset of variables from X, and in outlier detection. Property three: Spectral decomposition of sigma. Sigma equals lambda one alpha one alpha one plus plus lambda p alpha p alpha p Display style math bf sigma equals lambda underscore one alpha underscore one alpha underscore one plus c d o t s plus lambda underscore p alpha underscore p alpha underscore p. Before we look at its usage, we first look at diagonal elements. Var x j equals k equals one p lambda K alpha K J two 
Display style text var x underscore j equals sum underscore k equals one carrot p lambda underscore k alpha underscore k j carrot two. Then, perhaps the main statistical implication of the result is that not only can we decompose the combined variances of all the elements of x into decreasing contributions due to each PC, but we can also decompose the whole covariance matrix into contributions lambda k alpha k alpha k display style lambda underscore k alpha underscore k alpha underscore k from each PC. Although not strictly decreasing, the elements of lambda k alpha k alpha k display style lambda underscore k alpha underscore k alpha underscore k will tend to become smaller as k display style k increases as lambda k alpha k alpha k display style lambda underscore k alpha underscore k alpha underscore k is non increasing for increasing k display style k whereas the elements of alpha k display style alpha underscore k tend to stay about the same size because of the normalization constraints alpha k alpha k equals 1 k equals 1 p display style alpha underscore k alpha underscore k equals 1 k equals 1 c d o t s p topic limitations As noted above, the results of PCA depend on the scaling of the variables. A scale invariant form of PCA has been developed. The applicability of PCA is limited by certain assumptions made in its derivation. The other limitation is the mean removal process before constructing the covariance matrix for PCA. In fields such as astronomy, all the signals are non-negative, and the mean removal process will force the mean of some astrophysical exposures to be zero, which consequently creates unphysical negative fluxes, and forward modeling has to be performed to recover the true magnitude of the signals. As an alternative method, non-negative matrix factorization focusing only on the non-negative elements in the matrices, which is well suited for astrophysical observations. See more at relation between PCA and non-negative matrix factorization. Topic: <laughs> PCA and information theory. Dimensionality reduction loses information in general. PCA-based dimensionality reduction tends to minimize that information loss under certain signal and noise models. Under the assumption that x equals s plus n display style math bf x equals math bf s plus math bf n i e that the data vector x display style math bf x is the sum of the desired information bearing signal s display style math bf s and a noise signal n Display style math bf n. One can show that PCA can be optimal for dimensionality reduction from an information theoretic point of view. In particular, Linska showed that if s display style math bf s is Gaussian and n display style math bf n is Gaussian noise with a covariance matrix proportional to the identity matrix, the PCA maximizes the mutual information i y s display style i math bf y math bf s between the desired information s display style math bf s and the dimensionality reduced output y equals w L T X 
Display style Math BF Y equals Math BF W underscore L carrot T Math BF X if the noise is still Gaussian and has a covariance matrix proportional to the identity matrix i.e. the components of the vector n display style math bf n r i i d but the information bearing signal s display style math bf s is non-Gaussian which is a common scenario pca at least minimizes an upper bound on the information loss which is defined as i X S minus I Y S display style I math BF X math BF S I math BF Y math BF S the optimality of PCA is also preserved if the noise n display style math BF n is IID and at least more Gaussian in terms of the callback Leibler divergence than the information bearing signal S Display style math BFS. In general, even if the above signal model holds, PCA loses its information theoretic optimality as soon as the noise n display style math BF n becomes dependent. Topic: Computing PCA using the covariance method. The following is a detailed description of PCA using the covariance method see also here as opposed to the correlation method the goal is to transform a given data set x of dimension p to an alternative data set y of smaller dimension l equivalently we are seeking to find the matrix y where y is the karunin lowe transform klt of matrix x y equals k l t x Display style math bf y equals math bound klt math bf x. Topic: Organize the data set. Suppose you have data comprising a set of observations of p variables, and you want to reduce the data so that each observation can be described with only l variables, l x one, x n. Display style math bf x underscore one l dots math bf x underscore n with each x i. Display style math bf x underscore i representing a single grouped observation of the p variables. Write x one x n display style math bf x underscore one l dots math bf x underscore n as row vectors, each of which has p columns. Place the row vectors into a single matrix x of dimensions n times p. Topic: Calculate the empirical mean. Find the empirical mean along each column j equals one. P place the calculated mean values into an empirical mean vector u of dimensions p times 1 u j equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i j Display style u underscore j equals one over n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i j. Topic: Calculate the deviations from the mean. Mean subtraction is an integral part of the solution towards finding a principal component basis that minimizes the mean square error of approximating the data. Hence we proceed by centering the data as follows Subtract the empirical mean vector u t from each row of the data matrix X Store mean subtracted data in the n times p matrix b b equals x minus h u t Display style Math BF B equals Math BF X Math BF H Math BF U carrot T where H is an N times one column vector of all ones H I equals one four I equals one N 
display style h underscore i equals one q quad q quad text for i equals one l dots n. Topic: Find the covariance matrix. Find the p times p empirical covariance matrix C from the outer product of matrix B with itself. C equals one n minus one b b display style math bf c equals one over n one math bf b caret asterisk o times math bf b where display style asterisk is the conjugate transpose operator. Note that if b consists entirely of real numbers, which is the case in many applications, the conjugate transpose is the same as the regular transpose. The reasoning behind using n1 instead of n to calculate the covariance is Bessel's correction. Topic: <laughs> Find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the covariance matrix. Compute the matrix V of eigenvectors which diagonalizes the covariance matrix C V minus 1 C V equals D display style math BF V carrot minus 1 math BF C math BF V equals math BF D where D is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues of C this step will typically involve the use of a computer-based algorithm for computing eigenvectors and eigenvalues. These algorithms are readily available as subcomponents of most matrix algebra systems, such as SHASH, R, MATLAB, Mathematica, SIPI, IDL Interactive Data Language, or New Octave as well as OpenCV. Matrix D will take the form of an P times P diagonal matrix, where D K L equals lambda k four k equals L display style d underscore k L equals lambda underscore k q quad text for k equals L is the JTH eigenvalue of the covariance matrix C and d k L equals zero four K does not equal L display style D underscore KL equals zero Q quad text for K N E Q L matrix V, also of dimension P times P, contains P column vectors, each of length P, which represent the P eigenvectors of the covariance matrix C. The eigenvalues and eigenvectors are ordered and paired. The JTH eigenvalue corresponds to the JTH eigenvector. Matrix V denotes the matrix of right eigenvectors as opposed to left eigenvectors. In general, the matrix of right eigenvectors need not be the conjugate transpose of the matrix of left eigenvectors. Topic: <laughs> Rearrange the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Sort the columns of the eigenvector matrix V and eigenvalue matrix D in order of decreasing eigenvalue. Make sure to maintain the correct pairings between the columns in each matrix. Topic: <laughs> Compute the cumulative energy content for each eigenvector. The eigenvalues represent the distribution of the source data's energy among each of the eigenvectors, where the eigenvectors form a basis for the data. The cumulative energy content G for the JTH eigenvector is the sum of the energy content across all of the eigenvalues from 1 through J. G J equals K equals 1 J D K K F O R J equals 1 P display style G underscore J equals sum underscore K equals one carrot J D underscore K K Q quad mathram for Q quad J equals one dots P Topic Select a subset of the eigenvectors as basis vectors 
save the first L columns of V as the P times L matrix W W K L equals V K L F O R K equals one P L equals one L Display style W underscore KL equals V underscore KL Q quad mathram for Q quad K equals one dots P Q quad L equals one dots L where one L P Display style one L E Q L L E Q P Use the vector G as a guide in choosing an appropriate value for L. The goal is to choose a value of L as small as possible while achieving a reasonably high value of G on a percentage basis. For example, you may want to choose L so that the cumulative energy G is above a certain threshold, like 90%. In this case, choose the smallest value of L such that G L G P 0.9 Display style frac g underscore l g underscore p g e q zero nine. Topic: Project the z scores of the data onto the new basis. The projected vectors are the columns of the matrix T equals z w equals k l. T x display style math bf t equals math bf z c d o t math bf w equals math bound k l t math bf x. The rows of matrix T represent the cosm by Karun and Lowe transforms k l t of the data vectors in the rows of matrix X. Topic. Derivation of PCA using the covariance method Let X be a d-dimensional random vector expressed as column vector. Without loss of generality, assume X has zero mean. We want to find a d times d orthonormal transformation matrix P so that Px has a diagonal covariance matrix i.e. Px is a random vector with all its distinct components pairwise uncorrelated A quick computation assuming P P where unitary yields cov P x equals E P x P x equals E P x x P equals P E x x P equals P cov x P minus one Display style begin aligned operator name cov px and equals math bound e px tilde px caret asterisk and equals math bound e px tilde x caret asterisk p caret asterisk and equals p tilde math bound e x x caret asterisk p caret asterisk and equals p tilde operator name cov x p caret minus one end aligned hence display style ast holds if and only if cov x display style operator name cov x were diagonalizable by p display style p this is very constructive, as cov x is guaranteed to be a non-negative definite matrix and thus is guaranteed to be diagonalizable by some unitary matrix. Covariance-free computation In practical implementations, especially with high-dimensional data large P, the naive covariance method is rarely used because it is not efficient due to high computational and memory costs of explicitly determining the covariance matrix. The covariance-free approach avoids the NP2 operations of explicitly calculating and storing the covariance matrix XTX, instead utilizing one of matrix-free methods, e.g., based on the function evaluating the product XT XR at the cost of two NP operations. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Iterative computation. One way to compute the first principal component efficiently is shown in the following pseudocode, for a data matrix X with zero mean, without ever computing its covariance matrix. R equals a random vector of length P R equals R R Display style Math BF R equals frac Math BF R Math BF R Do C times S equals zero a vector of length P for each row X element of X Display style Math BF X in Math BF X S equals S plus X R X Display style Math BF S equals Math BF S plus Math BF X C D O T Math BF R Math BF X E I G E N V A L U E equals R T S Display style eigenvalue equals Math BF R carrot T Math BF S E R R O R equals E I G E N V A L U E R minus S display style error equals eigenvalue C D O T Math B F R Math B F S R equals S S display style Math B F R equals frac Math B F S Math B F S exit if E R R O R T O L E R A N C E display style error return E I G E N V A L U E R display style eigenvalue Math B F R this power iteration algorithm simply calculates the vector x T x R normalizes and places the result back in R. The eigenvalue is approximated by RT XTX R, which is the Rayleigh quotient on the unit vector R for the covariance matrix XTX. If the largest singular value is well separated from the next largest one, the vector R gets close to the first principal component of X within the number of iterations C, which is small relative to P, at the total cost 2 C and P. The power iteration convergence can be accelerated without noticeably sacrificing the small cost per iteration using more advanced matrix-free methods, such as the Lanczos algorithm or the locally optimal block preconditioned conjugate gradient method. Subsequent principal components can be computed one by one via deflation or simultaneously as a block. In the former approach, imprecisions in already computed approximate principal components additively affect the accuracy of the subsequently computed principal components, thus increasing the error with every new computation. The latter approach in the block power method replaces single vectors R and S with block vectors, matrices R and S. Every column of R approximates one of the leading principal components, while all columns are iterated simultaneously. The main calculation is evaluation of the product XT XR. Implemented, e.g., in LOBPCG, efficient blocking eliminates the accumulation of the errors, allows using high-level BLAS matrix matrix product functions, and typically leads to faster convergence, compared to the single-vector one-by-one technique. The NIPALS method Nonlinear iterative partial least squares NIPALS is a variant the classical power iteration with matrix deflation by subtraction implemented for computing the first few components in a principal component or partial least squares analysis. For very high dimensional datasets, such as those generated in the asterisk omics sciences e.g., genomics, metabolomics it is usually only necessary to compute the first few PCs. The nonlinear iterative partial least squares NIPALS algorithm updates iterative approximations to the leading scores and loadings T1 and R1T by the power iteration multiplying on every iteration by X on the left and on the right, i.e. calculation of the covariance matrix is avoided, just as in the matrix-free implementation of the power iterations to XTX, based on the function evaluating the product XT XR equals XRTXT. 
The matrix deflation by subtraction is performed by subtracting the outer product, T1 R1 T from X leaving the deflated residual matrix used to calculate the subsequent leading PCs. For large data matrices, or matrices that have a high degree of column collinearity, NIPALS suffers from loss of orthogonality of PCs due to machine precision round-off errors accumulated in each iteration and matrix deflation by subtraction. A Gram-Schmidt re-orthogonalization algorithm is applied to both the scores and the loadings at each iteration step to eliminate this loss of orthogonality. NIPALS reliance on single vector multiplications cannot take advantage of high level blasts and results in slow convergence for clustered leading singular values. Both these deficiencies are resolved in more sophisticated matrix free block solvers, such as the locally optimal block preconditioned conjugate gradient method. Topic: <laughs> Online sequential estimation. In an online or streaming situation with data arriving piece by piece rather than being stored in a single batch, it is useful to make an estimate of the PCA projection that can be updated sequentially. This can be done efficiently, but requires different algorithms. Topic PCA and qualitative variables in PCA, it is common that we want to introduce qualitative variables as supplementary elements. For example, many quantitative variables have been measured on plants. For these plants, some qualitative variables are available as, for example, the species to which the plant belongs. These data were subjected to PCA for quantitative variables. When analyzing the results, it is natural to connect the principal components to the qualitative variable species. For this, the following results are produced. Identification, on the factorial planes, of the different species e.g. using different colors. Representation, on the factorial planes, of the centers of gravity of plants belonging to the same species. For each center of gravity and each axis, p-value to judge the significance of the difference between the center of gravity and origin, these results are what is called introducing a qualitative variable as supplementary element. This procedure is detailed in and Hussain, Le and Pages 2009 and Pages 2013. Few software offer this option in an «automatic» way. This is the case of SPAD that historically, following the work of Ludovic Lebet, was the first to propose this option, and the R package Factominer. Applications <laughs> 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 Topic. Quantitative finance In quantitative finance, principal component analysis can be directly applied to the risk management of interest rate derivative portfolios. Trading multiple swap instruments which are usually a function of 30 to 500 other market quotable swap instruments is sought to be reduced to usually three or four principal components, representing the path of interest rates on a macro basis. Converting risks to be represented as those to factor loadings or multipliers provides assessments and understanding beyond that available to simply collectively viewing risks to individual 30 to 500 buckets. PCA has also been applied to share portfolios in a similar fashion, both to portfolio risk and to risk return. One application is to reduce portfolio risk, where allocation strategies are applied to the principal portfolios instead of the underlying stocks. A second is to enhance portfolio return, using the principal components to select stocks with upside potential. <laughs> <laughs> Neuroscience A variant of principal components analysis is used in neuroscience to identify the specific properties of a stimulus that increase a neuron's probability of generating an action potential. This technique is known as spike-triggered covariance analysis. In a typical application an experimenter presents a white noise process as a stimulus usually either as a sensory input to a test subject, or as a current injected directly into the neuron and records a train of action potentials, or spikes, produced by the neuron as a result. Presumably, certain features of the stimulus make the neuron more likely to spike. 
In order to extract these features, the experimenter calculates the covariance matrix of the spike-triggered ensemble, the set of all stimuli defined and discretized over a finite time window typically on the order of 100 milliseconds that immediately preceded a spike. The eigenvectors of the difference between the spike-triggered covariance matrix and the covariance matrix of the prior stimulus ensemble the set of all stimuli, defined over the same length time window then indicate the directions in the space of stimuli along which the variance of the spike-triggered ensemble differed the most from that of the prior stimulus ensemble. Specifically, the eigenvectors with the largest positive eigenvalues correspond to the directions along which the variance of the spike-triggered ensemble showed the largest positive change compared to the variance of the prior. Since these were the directions in which varying the stimulus led to a spike, they are often good approximations of the sort after relevant stimulus features. In neuroscience, PCA is also used to discern the identity of a neuron from the shape of its action potential. Spike sorting is an important procedure because extracellular recording techniques often pick up signals from more than one neuron. In spike sorting, one first uses PCA to reduce the dimensionality of the space of action potential waveforms, and then performs clustering analysis to associate specific action potentials with individual neurons. PCA as a dimension reduction technique is particularly suited to detect coordinated activities of large neuronal ensembles. It has been used in determining collective variables, i.e. order parameters, during phase transitions in the brain. <laughs> Relation with other methods Correspondence <laughs> 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 analysis <laughs> Correspondence analysis was developed by Jean-Paul Benzacri and is conceptually similar to PCA, but scales the data which should be non-negative so that rows and columns are treated equivalently. It is traditionally applied to contingency tables. CA decomposes the chi-squared statistic associated to this table into orthogonal factors. Because CA is a descriptive technique, it can be applied to tables for which the chi-squared statistic is appropriate or not. Several variants of CA are available including detrended correspondence analysis and canonical correspondence analysis. One special extension is multiple correspondence analysis, which may be seen as the counterpart of principal component analysis for categorical data. <laughs> Factor analysis Principal component analysis creates variables that are linear combinations of the original variables. The new variables have the property that the variables are all orthogonal. The PCA transformation can be helpful as a pre-processing step before clustering. PCA is a variance-focused approach seeking to reproduce the total variable variance, in which components reflect both common and unique variants of the variable. PCA is generally preferred for purposes of data reduction i.e., translating variable space into optimal factor space but not when the goal is to detect the latent construct or factors. Factor analysis is similar to principal component analysis, in that factor analysis also involves linear combinations of variables. Different from PCA, factor analysis is a correlation-focused approach seeking to reproduce the intercorrelations among variables, in which the factors represent the common variance of variables, excluding unique variants. In terms of the correlation matrix, this corresponds with focusing on explaining the off-diagonal terms i.e. shared covariance, while PCA focuses on explaining the terms that sit on the diagonal. However, as a side result, when trying to reproduce the on-diagonal terms, PCA also tends to fit relatively well the off-diagonal correlations. Results given by PCA and factor analysis are very similar in most situations, but this is not always the case, and there are some problems where the results are significantly different. Factor analysis is generally used when the research purpose is detecting data structure i.e., latent constructs or factors or causal modeling. K-means clustering 
It was asserted in that the relaxed solution of k-means clustering, specified by the cluster indicators, is given by the principal components, and the PCA subspace spanned by the principal directions is identical to the cluster centroid subspace. However, that PCA is a useful relaxation of k-means clustering was not a new result see, for example, and it is straightforward to uncover counterexamples to the statement that the cluster centroid subspace is spanned by the principal directions. Non-negative matrix factorization Non-negative matrix factorization NMF is a dimension reduction method where only non-negative elements in the matrices are used, which is therefore a promising method in astronomy, in the sense that astrophysical signals are non-negative. The PCA components are orthogonal to each other, while the NMF components are all non-negative and therefore constructs a non-orthogonal basis. In PCA, the contribution of each component is ranked based on the magnitude of its corresponding eigenvalue, which is equivalent to the fractional residual variance FRV in analyzing empirical data. For NMF, its components are ranked based only on the empirical FRV curves. The residual fractional eigenvalue plots, i.e. 1 minus i equals 1 k lambda I k equals one n lambda k display style one sum underscore i equals one carrot k lambda underscore i sum underscore k equals one carrot n lambda underscore k as a function of component number k display style k given a total of n display style n components, for PCA has a flat plateau, where no data is captured to remove the quasi-static noise, then the curves dropped quickly as an indication of overfitting and captures random noise. The FRV curves for NMF is decreasing continuously when the NMF components are constructed sequentially, indicating the continuous capturing of quasi-static noise, then converge to higher levels than PCA, indicating the less overfitting property of NMF. Topic. Generalizations Topic. Sparse PCA A particular disadvantage of PCA is that the principal components are usually linear combinations of all input variables. Sparse PCA overcomes this disadvantage by finding linear combinations that contain just a few input variables. It extends the classic method of principal component analysis PCA for the reduction of dimensionality of data by adding sparsity constraint on the input variables. Several approaches have been proposed, including a regression framework, a convex relaxation, semidefinite programming framework, a generalized power method framework, an alternating maximization framework, forward-backward greedy search and exact methods using branch and bound techniques Bayesian formulation framework, the methodological and theoretical developments of sparse PCA as well as its applications in scientific studies are recently reviewed in a survey paper. Nonlinear PCA Most of the modern methods for nonlinear dimensionality reduction find their theoretical and algorithmic roots in PCA or k-means. Pearson's original idea was to take a straight line or plane which will be the best fit to a set of data points. Principal curves and manifolds give the natural geometric framework for PCA generalization and extend the geometric interpretation of PCA by explicitly constructing an embedded manifold for data approximation, and by encoding using standard geometric projection onto the manifold, as it is illustrated by FIG. See also the elastic map algorithm and principal geodesic analysis. Another popular generalization is kernel PCA, which corresponds to PCA performed in a reproducing kernel Hilbert space associated with a positive definite kernel. In multilinear subspace learning, PCA is generalized to multilinear PCA MPCA that extracts features directly from tensor representations. 
MPCA is solved by performing PCA in each mode of the tensor iteratively. MPCA has been applied to face recognition, gate recognition, etc. MPCA is further extended to uncorrelated MPCA, non-negative MPCA and robust MPCA. N-way principal component analysis may be performed with models such as Tucker decomposition, PARAFAC, multiple factor analysis, co-inertia analysis, STATIS, and DISTATIS. Robust PCA While PCA finds the mathematically optimal method as in minimizing the squared error, it is sensitive to outliers in the data that produce large errors PCA tries to avoid. It therefore is common practice to remove outliers before computing PCA. However, in some contexts, outliers can be difficult to identify. For example, in data mining algorithms like correlation clustering, the assignment of points to clusters and outliers is not known beforehand. A recently proposed generalization of PCA based on a weighted PCA increases robustness by assigning different weights to data objects based on their estimated relevancy. Outlier-resistant versions of PCA have also been proposed on L1 norm formulations L1 PCA, robust principal component analysis RPCA via decomposition in low-rank and sparse matrices is a modification of PCA that works well with respect to grossly corrupted observations. <laughs> Similar techniques Topic. Independent component analysis Independent component analysis is directed to similar problems as principal component analysis, but finds additively separable components rather than successive approximations. Topic. Network component analysis Given a matrix E Display style E. It tries to decompose it into two matrices such that E equals A P. Display style E equals AP. A key difference from techniques such as PCA and ECA is that some of the entries of A display style A are constrained to be zero. Here, P display style P is termed the regulatory layer. While in general such a decomposition can have multiple solutions, they prove that if the following conditions are satisfied a display style a has full column rank each column of a display style a must have at least l minus 1 display style l1 zeros where l Display style L is the number of columns of a display style A, or alternatively the number of rows of P display style P. The justification for this criterion is that if a node is removed from the regulatory layer along with all the output nodes connected to it, the result must still be characterized by a connectivity matrix with full column rank P display style P must have full row rank dot then the decomposition is unique up to multiplication by a scalar topic <laughs> <laughs> software source code ALGLIB, a C++ and C# -sharp library that implements PCA and truncated PCA Analytica, the built-in eigendecomp function computes principal components Elki includes PCA for projection, including robust variants of PCA, as well as PCA-based clustering algorithms. Gretel – Principal component analysis can be performed either via the PCA command or via the princomp function. Julia – supports PCA with the PCA function in the multivariate stats package. KNIME – a Java-based nodal arranging software for analysis, in this the nodes called PCA, PCA Compute, PCA Apply, PCA Inverse make it easily. 
Mathematica, implements principal component analysis with the principal components command using both covariance and correlation methods. MATLAB Statistics Toolbox – The functions PRINCOMP and PCA give the principal components, while the function PCARES gives the residuals and reconstructed matrix for a low-rank PCA approximation. MATPLOBLIB – Python library have a PCA package in the MLAB module MLPack – provides an implementation of principal component analysis in C++. NAG library – Principal Components Analysis is implemented via the GO3AA routine available in both the Fortran versions of the library. NMATH – Proprietary numerical library containing PCA for the .NET framework. New Octave – Free software computational environment mostly compatible with MATLAB, the function PRINCOMP gives the principal component. OpenCV Oracle Database 12C, implemented via DBMS underscore data underscore mining, SVDS underscore scoring underscore mode by specifying setting value SVDS underscore scoring underscore PCA. Orange software integrates PCA in its visual programming environment. PCA displays a scree plot degree of explained variance where user can interactively select the number of principal components. Origin – contains PCA in its Pro version. ClueCore – commercial software for analyzing multivariate data with instant response using PCA. R – free statistical package – the functions PRINCOMP and PRECOMP can be used for principal component analysis. PRECOMP uses singular value decomposition which generally gives better numerical accuracy. Some packages that implement PCA in R, include, but are not limited to, ADI4, Vegan, Exposition, Dimrid, and Factominer. Shash, proprietary software, for example, C. Scikit-learn, Python library for machine learning which contains PCA, probabilistic PCA, kernel PCA, sparse PCA and other techniques in the decomposition module. Weaker, Java library for machine learning which contains modules for computing principal components equals equals see also